Hey, how's it going guys? So in today's video, we're gonna announce the winners of the first day of Christmas uh, here with Pokemon Hero. Um, so for those of you that weren't aware, the first day of Christmas, I was giving out this. I know it's small, it's not it's not overpriced and everything, but it's it's thoughtful and it's for someone that that wants it, you know? Um, so we got a nice little Pikachu keychain, two packs and a, Silva a shiny Silvalli code and a Marshadow code for those of you that don't have it yet but yeah um, so that's our first giveaway so I'm gonna jump in and we're gonna pick a winner right now so let's do that alright guys so here's Gleam this is the website I use for the giveaways uh, here's the contest that we are running the first day of Christmas uh, we're gonna do uh, go here we're gonna draw a winner. I'm gonna do uh, allow repeat winners. So potential for 15 entries compared to eight. Uh, we're gonna draw. Jordan Weinstein uh, from Norco, California. Uh, you're gonna be getting an email from me shortly and you are the winner of our first day of Christmas giveaway. Congratulations, dude. And thank you so much for the support of the channel. So that's our contest winner right there. All right, so that was our contest winner right there. Jordan, thanks for supporting the channel, man. It I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this pa these packs and this keychain. So now I'm gonna get into the deck profile. Um, so I told you guys to comment in the video yesterday what you wanted to see on the channel for today because I didn't have anything uh, I don't have anything that I can show you guys. Like I don't have any footage or anything like that, that I can talk about. So um, I told you guys to comment. Someone asked for the Sylveon deck that I'm running, uh, the deck profile on that. So that's what I'm gonna give you guys. So let's get into that deck profile right now. All right, guys. So let's start with the Pokemon lineup. Uh, I do run three Eevees with the Energy Evolution and three Sylveons. Uh, very standard for a Sylveon deck. Uh, obviously, it's the main purpose of the deck. Uh, you're using Magical Ribbon to get three cards into your hand. Uh, depending on the situation, that's what you want to grab. If you see your opponent uh, dropping special energies like color, double colorlesses, rainbow energies, um, you want to grab your Enhanced Hammer. Um, if they're playing like a lot of energies, you might want to grab a Team Skullgrunt, a Crushing Hammer, and maybe an Enhanced Hammer if they're running the special energies just to give them that energy denial and force them to play things to recover their energies or force them to kind of just be stuck. So instead of doing massive damage to you, they're only doing little damage. And for one energy, it kind of keeps you safe from Gardevoir because Gardevoir does have to kind of commit a lot of energies to knock you out. It's a total of seven. Um, so one for you, six for them. And that's very hard to do for Gardevoir in one single turn. So if you're just denying them energies, that's how you stop that. You also stop Zoroark because you're stopping energies as well. And you have other things in the deck that also stop uh, Zoroark, which we'll get into right now. So three Eevees, three Sylveons. <coughs> Next, uh, I run two Talon Flames. Uh, this is kind of like my special tech of the deck. Um, I got this idea from uh, another another person. Uh, his name is Josh Oniata. Uh, he was running uh, Talon Flame, and it made sense because if you open this, it's a basic Pokemon technically, um, and you can also discard it with Ultra Ball and Plumeria, which we run Plumeria in this deck for this reason, um, and it lets you search two things. So even if you don't get your EV set up you can get them set up this way as well. And it's for one energy, so you just attach a fairy energy and you're good to go. Next, uh, two Trubbish, two Garbodors uh, with the Garbotoxin ability. Uh, the reason we're running this is just to shut off all abilities. As you can see, Sylveon doesn't really have abilities. Um, and the only ability that you have is Talonflame, but that gets shut off as soon as you uh, play it. So there's no need for you to have um, abilities up and running so that's the reason for this uh, we're shutting off Zoroark we're shutting off um, <sighs> Gardevoir uh, Metagross if it's still running around Volcanion we shut that off as well so this is really good for that reason next I'm gonna get into the supporters 
um, we do play three ends uh, no more than three because uh, we're not trying to optimize on our ends we're trying to optimize on our um, opponent playing their ends and we want to use other supporters uh, instead of playing n so yeah so that's why there's only three there should be lots of people are running four but I don't think that's too much there's a guy that was running one at Memphis which is really good because he was using the space for other supporters and that's actually something that I might consider two team skull grunts <coughs> two team flare grunts sorry <coughs> Again, this deck's main purpose is energy denial. You want your opponent not to be able to get energies. You want to stop them from playing, um, from being able to attack and stuff like that. So yeah, forcing them to dig through their deck to look for something in order for them to place energy for the turn. Along with energy denial, we also have Plumeria. Uh, for those of you that don't know, discard two cards from your hand. And if you do, you can discard one energy from your opponent's Pokemon. This is anywhere. Uh, unlike Team Flare Grunt, this is the active Pokemon only. This is anywhere on the board. So if they're on the bench and they're trying to like stack up a Pokemon, and you hit a Crushing Hammer, another Crushing Hammer, and you hit this, and boom, there goes all their energies they committed. That's how you do it with that. Next, uh, Delinquent. I run two of them because I am running... Um, and I am running stadiums on my own. I'm running uh, Fairy Gardens and Parallel City. So this is just to kind of disrupt your opponent's hand, kind of put them in a position where they have to kind of top deck out of whatever state of board they're in. Uh, even with Trade and even with Orangaroo and Octillery, if you ability lock them and you go with this, that's pretty much it for them. Uh, they're going to have to top deck out of that. And plus you're doing Energy Denial. So more than likely they're just going to be like pass. So yeah. So that's why that's here. Uh, next, uh, Team Team Rocket's handiwork. Um, this is really good uh, for that late game push where you're trying to like deck them out. If your opponent, if you're energy denying your opponent, they're more than likely gonna play a Sycamore out of desperation to get an energy in order to play an energy and attack you for some damage, if not a knockout, which is okay. It's not it's not bad for your opponent to take uh, knockouts, and you'll see why later on once I go through the deck some more. So yeah, so late game this is really good. Good even if you have it early game, you kind of want to do it just to throw some things away from your opponent's deck and throw them off because sometimes they're only running the one or two of field blowers. So if you get lucky and you hit one or two of them, that's pretty much it. They have to find some way to recover those. Last but not least, uh, Lusamine. I run two of because I want to be able to kind of just uh, regenerate them. So normally what I do is I'll play Lusamine, already having one in the discard pile. And I'll get back another Lusamine, a Team Skullgrunt. So then this one's in the discard pile, these go back to my hand. And then the next turn, I'll probably Team Skullgrunt, discard some energy, play some other things. And then the next turn after that, I'll Lusamine again. And I'll just keep doing this over and over again. Or to a point where I can interchange these uh, with these, depending on the situation. <coughs> Stadiums, uh, two fairy gardens for the free retreat. Uh, you're only running fairy energies. You're not running psychic or anything else. So this is really good to retreat. If for whatever reason they Lysander or not Lysander, they Guzma up your Garbo toxin, Garbodor. Just put a fairy energy, retreat, that's it. Uh, in exchange for one energy, you get free retreat instead of having um, float stones. And instead of float stones, we're running uh, another tool, which is really awesome. One parallel city, uh, parallel city just to like throw your opponent off, put them at three. And on top of that, uh, plead. Even though you don't use your GX moves that often, plea is very good for this, for this reason, uh, for parallel city. As for tools, uh, bodybuilding dumbbells, uh, to give your Sylveon and your Garbotoxin uh, that extra oomph that they need. 40 HP, it sounds really, really redundant, but 40 HP does make a difference in the format. So having that extra 40 HP uh, on your Pokemon helps out a lot. Um, your Garbo your Garbodor is not being able, instead of, instead of being hit with uh, four energies by a, with a Gardevoir, 
they have to commit six energies uh, to knock it out because it's at 140 wait no no just five five 150 120 yeah so it's not that great but still it makes them work a little extra harder and then committing energies makes it easier for you to be able to um, to hit the energies plus uh, it turns your Sylveon into 240 which is really hard to hit 240 as well that's pretty much Metagross numbers there you have to hit eight energies I believe but yeah two choice pens uh, yes this deck also attacks it gets on the offensive when it needs to um, if not, you just throw this on your Garbotoxin and just leave it there. You don't really need to recover it or anything, or you don't really need it. Uh, it's mostly in there just in case for scenarios where you need to attack, or scenarios where you know you've denied your opponent enough energies where you can go on the offensive and start attacking them. Next, the items. Uh, we're going to talk about the hammers. So we have four crushing and one enhanced hammer. Uh, I feel that you only need one enhanced hammer, but actually with the format, how it's going now with so much um, so much Zoroark running around, I might increase this to two and decrease this to three, uh, just for that specific reason. So yeah, uh, hammers, always good. Energy denial, you want to get as lucky as you can with these head heads so you can uh, discard energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Then we have puzzle time. We run four of, so we can recover stuff that we lose, uh, that we need to kind of further the game some more. Uh, it's very useful, it's very handy, and running four of, of course you have to run four. Why would you run less? But yeah. <clears throat> Three max potions. Um, your Pokemon are pretty tanky, and more than likely they're not gonna get one-shotted or two-shotted. Um, <clears throat> They're not going to get one-shotted, but they will get two-shotted. Uh, but the great thing about your Pokemon, you only need one energy on them. So using Max Potion healing your Pokemon is really good when you're just, um, let's say, Crushing Hammer, Enhance Hammer, uh, Max Potion, Attached Energy, Ribbon, and we get three new cards, and then it's your opponent's turn, and they all they do is attach an energy and pass, and they attack for some damage. The next turn, you just Hammer. Um, Hammer, Team Skull Grunt, um, heal some more, pass the turn. And then at that point, they're trying to dig for another energy, which they'll probably play a Sycamore or something like that, get rid of a bunch of cards and draw seven cards, makes the thin their deck a little thinner. And then you just hit them with the Team Skull Grunt. But yeah, so Max Potion, really good. Uh, something that I just added, which I really like, is uh, Counter Catcher. With this deck, you will be behind for a good majority of the time. Uh, I don't think at all you'll ever be up ahead in prizes until it's like super super late in the game So counter catcher is really great because you want to uh, Get things that will be potentially stuck in the active or you want to um, Pull things up that are about to be knocked out to get those extra knockouts if you hear if you start steamrolling them But yeah, so this is really good late game <clears throat> Two ultra balls uh, the reason why we run the ultra balls is to get our Garbo, our Garbodors. Um, that's practically the only reason these are in here, um, because you want to be able to shut off abilities and you want to do it as fast as possible. Um, and yes, Nest Ball might be the better play, but I guess in this scenario, I think Ultra Balls is better for that reason because you can set up your Garbo Toxin faster that way. Last but not least, we run six Fairy Energies. Uh, the reason for the low count of energies is because you don't really need that many energies. You just need the one or two to set up your Sylveon and just go from there. Uh, yeah, you are going to, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> you are going to max push and stuff like that. But it's fine because you can get these back if needed to, which you shouldn't need to. You can get these back with um, with Puzzle of Time. So yeah. And then last but not least, uh, three colorless energies. Three double colorless energies um, for Plea. And for hitting with Sylveon's secondary attack, which is Fairy Wind, which does 110, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, Fairy Wind for 110. So yeah, guys, that's the deck profile right there. All right, guys, so that was the Sylveon deck list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a request from somebody that commented in yesterday's video. Um, so far, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow, uh, except Greninja, which is 
from the same guy that requested the Sylveon decklist. Um, so I will be posting Greninja tomorrow. Unless you guys say otherwise, or unless you guys have other ideas, let me know in the comment section. Anything you want to see, deck list, or you want to talk about um, what are the correct steps or to get yourself prepared for a League Cup or regionals or stuff like that, we can talk about tips, uh, little stuff that I do to get prepared for stuff like that. Um, anything you guys want to ask me, uh, you guys want to ask me some personal stuff, like what made you become a YouTuber, uh, why are you so nice to the community, like whatever whatever you guys want to ask me feel free to to let me know in the comment section i'll answer anything almost anything yeah don't ask me some weird stuff because i won't answer it but yeah so that's pretty much it so uh today is our second day of the christmas giveaway and for today's giveaway it's another keychain this one's a genesec keychain let's see if i can get some good lighting there you go a nice little Genesis keychain two more sun and moon packs and another Sil valley and another marshadow coat and guys i know these look small because like i told you i'm on a super super tight budget and i really wanted to do something for you guys to give back to the community to give back to you guys watching me so little small things like this is what i'm giving out if you guys are enjoying them great if you guys aren't then not much I can do about it if, if I was able to give out more I'd be more than happy to give out more but I'm giving you what I can so yeah so this is our our second contest uh, for the seven days of Christmas until the 25th make sure to check out the description at the bottom there will be a link for this giveaway it will end today at 12 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time so I always have to say that because I get people that are like on the East Coast and they kind of freak out so yeah um, before I forget, I got lucky that this this giveaway this giveaway winner is in California. Uh, I'm not limiting it to California, but I am limiting this contest to the United States. I didn't say that yesterday, and if someone from out of state or out of country would have won it, I would have shipped it out because I didn't give you that full disclosure. But I'm giving it to you now. Um, so this giveaway is for U.S. people, U.S. residents only. Uh, Canada, I'm sorry, as much as I want to ship things out to you, I can't afford the shipping costs right now. And guys in Mexico, I'm sorry, I can't ship out to you guys either. You guys are way too far. I think it'll be cheaper for me to drive down there and give it to you guys personally <laughs> at this point, you know. Um, but guys, I know that some of you have a P.O. box in San Diego, the, the Mexico guys, the Tijuana guys. So if you guys want... If you guys do win, I'll email you. If you have a PO box in San Diego, I'd be more than happy to send it to you there um, because it's obviously cheaper and obviously it's not gonna cost me that international fee to just send it across like 10 miles or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, with that said, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video if anybody wants to know what Sylveon looks like uh in my hands i know that there's other sylveon variants and there's other sylveon lists out there but this is how i'm running it and it's it gets clunky at times but when it runs smooth let me tell you it runs smooth but yeah guys that's it for this video thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow